Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go to cryptocurrency market, even though I got Dow Jones Industrial on the uh, screen. Okay, this is important, guys. Been waiting for this right here for the Dow Jones Industrial and the NASDAQ. Start doing a correction in here and the SP 500 to do a correction in there. Why is this important? Because you want to see it reset this area down in here, guys. Okay, in the uh, RSI. And the uh, momentum indicators, here's the uh, S&P 500, probably one, two, three, four, five, and then it could come down and correct and see what Bitcoin is going to do in the meantime. So the deal is with the uh, S&P 500, guys, I'll go over my take on it. Okay, here's the deal with it. All right. The pattern that the S&P 500 is in is here's the pattern and then A, B, C, and just did one, maybe it's finished up one. And it could come back down like so, boom. And then it might be doing, is it going to do something over here, guys? You know, how? what's the strength? Don't know the answer to that. But here's the thing. This is probably going up in a corrective move, guys. Okay? Until it proves otherwise, it's pointing more towards going up and doing a grind up just like that. And then either coming down here, okay, or breaking the low. Don't know yet. Don't know yet. But it's up and to the right, which is good for Bitcoin. And the uh, other assets, even though there's a little bit of a decorrelation, this will make this real quick. So what you want to do, check out GBTC. Keep your eyes on, uh, you know, instead of looking at Bitcoin, you know, you can bounce it off uh, GBTC, which is doing pretty, uh, pretty decent. Um, it's up 2.45%. And here's the thing with GBTC. So now you got you got a couple options, right? You can say, here's your left shoulder head and here's your right shoulder. It's going to drop like a rock. That is possible, guys. But here's the thing right here with this thing. OK, here's the deal with the uh, GBTC. I think that it did a three, three, five guys like that. GBTC likes to do flats. That's what I'm checking out. And it might be getting out of there to finish off one, two, three, four, five like this. Struggling to get up there. So here's a one with the flat three, four, five, something like that. Maybe not even that high, guys. That's what I'm checking out with GBTC. And then also keep your eye on MicroStrategy. It's up 4.6% today. Mara, the miners are up. Um, Riot blockchain is up. CleanSpark is up 8% up there. So with MicroStrategy, I'm just checking out to see what MicroStrategy might rip off a wave like that. And you got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And can go to a bullish. Could take some time to get itself out of there, guys, and some of these assets. Okay. Because MicroStrategy, if you think about that, let's say from May of 20, MicroStrategy has been sideways for a year or two, guys, basically. It's been sideways. So been a trader's market more than anything. So with Bitcoin, guys, um, I am still, here's the deal with Bitcoin, okay? I'm bullish on Bitcoin. Uh, you have a short-term possibility of being a little bit more bearish. So here's the here's the situation with this, right? You got a leg right here. And then it could be coming up for that. You know, we want to see a leg over here potentially on uh, Bitcoin, okay? However, you cannot rule out that Bitcoin didn't do a flat right there too, like GBTC. And if that's the case, that's very bullish for Bitcoin. And Bitcoin, while the uh, S&P, maybe trend five markets drop, it could just kind of maybe like trend up a little bit, come back down, trend up a little bit, may come back over here and then finally get out of there. Over the next week or two, or however long they are, they are going to be in a correction um, in the trad five markets, guys. So that's the deal with uh, Bitcoin. Um, I want to see that if it's going to roll over over here. But right now, right now, everything is pointing more towards this was a flat move. So you have a five way move right here. They can't be by themselves. So this the five way move right here. This five way move. If it is a five-way move, it could very well be three, too. We just not 100% sure, okay? You got so many options. You're not going to have certainty in the market. Never will have certainty in the market. So let's say this is a five-way move, right? The five can't be by itself, so it needs a partner leg. Somewhere over here, right? So, but the time that the five can be by itself is when it's in a flat. So it's like this. I'd put the ABC right here like this. It'd be A, B, C. And that's your move right there, guys, like that. Potentially. So you three-way move, three-way move, one, two, three, four, five. You're flat. That's a possibility. 
Um, if you're bullish, if you're a, 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 a moon boy bull type person, that's what you want that move to be because that's extremely bullish. And it's going into a wave here. And then it went through all this and it's starting on making more waves over here to go up, guys. So my opinion is still up and to the right for Bitcoin. It's just taking a breather. The other good thing about this, too, if that was a flat, is that Bitcoin would have been in a correction for 35 days in that area. OK, and the wave only took it nine days. It was nine days to get up into that wave, but we'll say 14, two weeks. So that's good. If that did that, guys, it's extremely bullish. You can't rule that out. So the other coins, guys, I'm just uh, checking some things out. Now, Gala coin, guys, here's the deal with Gala coin. Uh, you might want to stick this. If you got coins on the exchanges, you might want to take them and put them in either MetaMask or hardware wallet because they have a version two Gala games. I think it's going to be airdropped on the 15th of May. So then you're going to get new coins. I don't think anything is going to change. You're just going to get the new coins and they're going to use those coins. Okay, guys. So still waiting for uh, Gala to finish up something down there, guys. Okay. Um, I'm still bullish on it. It's just in a correction. That's all it is. And everything looks, this is looking good, guys. It's just finishing up a correction. Did it correct this leg? Did Gala go up into a leg right here? And then this is a flat move? It very well could be. It looks like a flat. And it looks, you know, a flat up here, A, B, C. And that's what flats do. They take it, they take them down to reset everything. So. Gala looks pretty good. I'll go over some other coins and then time being, guys, um, like Caspa coin, which I think that uh, Caspa coin's correction up here is probably like this correction. So this correction is uh, like the fourth wave. This is a third wave. So your fourth wave, fifth, fourth wave will be over here, and then it'll be going into a fifth wave. How high uh, Caspa will go? I have four cent target, uh, seven, eight cent ish, and then high is 10 cents. Now, if it goes up 10 cents, it's a 1.8. 8 billion market cap but if the crypto whole cryptocurrency market bitcoin goes up higher ethereum and all the other coins then you know you could have higher targets just don't know yet guys where it's going to end up at um but then you have another wave back here too guys so one two three four five and possibly even one two three four five so a couple waves in there now what that means it's going to be in a correction it'll go up another correction and it'll go up more than likely with uh, Casper coin. But otherwise, I just want to make this quick video, guys, to let you guys know what's going on. Just pay attention to these assets to get an idea of what's going on. You want to see uh, GBTC, see if it can break that high of 1857. Okay. And uh, MicroStrategy, what it's going to do. And that'll give you your direction on uh, Bitcoin over here, guys, on Bitcoin, what it did. So, so you can see uh, GBTC in this move that it did right here. You see. It looks reasonable. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, and then it corrected that. So you could have a three-way move here. And then it's out of there. It did a good job of resetting everything too. So back down there and oversold on the four-hour. Um, everything is looking pretty good, guys. So for like... I wouldn't be I wouldn't get overly bearish until you see uh, Bitcoin breaking like uh, candle bodies below uh, twenty five thousand is what is would be the concern. So down here in this area would be the uh, concern. But still, uh, technically, if this is the wave and then it's over here corrected and come back down over here, you have to have the impulse you'd have to have to see an impulse an impulsing down there that way and it doesn't look like it wants to do that guys it just doesn't so chili's is another one you guys put together um this is a triangle area that it's in and it could break out of there guys on chili's so chili's is looking pretty good you know it's been a long wait on chili's guys so some the deal is to um i wanted to go over the Meeting with uh, JP, guys. He has a meeting with the public, as you already probably know. And if you paid attention, then he's talking about having interest rates higher for longer, which is, I think is going to be the thing. And um, the uh, assumption that they're going to blow liquidity back into the market uh, at the end of the year, according to the markets, is probably not going to happen. Are they going to pause either? That was the last rate hike, or they got one more to go, more than likely. 
uh, one more 25, and then they're going to keep them at 5.5 for probably a while. Probably a while, guys. So look at the uh, interest rates. I have interest rates in here somewhere. So, yeah, so here's interest rates. They're at 5.25, and they're going to bring them up to 5.5, more than likely, guys. And then they're going to stay there for a while. Unless something happens that where they, they have to do an emergency and, and lower it. So, but they keep reiterating that. That's one thing they've been consistent on is that they're going to keep the inflation story going and they're going to keep them there to uh, bring down that inflation, guys. Um, he talked about a minor chance. He doesn't really want to answer questions about the, uh, What's the thing you saw about the uh, recession? You know, he was kind of flip-flopping back and forth. But the um, numbers, if you look at the numbers, guys, the actual numbers um, doesn't really look like a, a recession is coming. The numbers are are okay. So that's how I'm looking at that, guys. So I know you're going to have a lot of stuff like coming recession and everything and the media and stuff like that. So I just go look at the data. The data said, hey, look, is there a chance it could happen? Yeah, there's a chance it could happen, but it doesn't it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, as big of a deal as most people are purporting it to be. And it'll just the markets here will be adjusting to this higher rate environment, you know, and as time goes on, you know, like people have these higher rates, I get mortgages and stuff. And then that that's like uh, what they'll be used to after a period of time, like it was back in the 90s. I mean, back in the 90s, this was very common to have interest rates like that. Um, right here. I remember, when was it? Yeah, they were way up here at 6% and they got dropped down to 4 in this area, right? Okay. And I remember that because everybody went and refinanced their house, but nobody's going to refinance now because they all got the low rates. And so that market's gone. So they're just going to adjust, guys. That's all that's going to happen. It's going to adjust. The concern that I have is, are we going to have these serious smoke shows in the cryptocurrency market, guys. Um, I think that the moves like on, uh, let's say here's Heart Coin as an example, the moves will be quick. So let me put it on logarithmic so I can look at it. So the, the coin Heart went from 18 December to 30. So one month that just ripped that wave off be in a correction for a long, long, long time. And then in one month, it rips a wave off. So that's what I think is going to be happening. I think it's going to be the wave longer than normal corrections and then do the other wave. I think it's what's going to be going on, guys. Not your typical, hey, it's full-blown bullish like it was in 2020, 2021. You know, do a wave, have a little correction, keep ramping up into a wave. I don't think that's going to be going on. I hope I hope that I'm wrong. I mean, I hope that I'm wrong, but I think that's how it's going to happen. You know, just looking at the coins, guys. Like, as an example, um, Lido. You know, you look at Lido, right? And it was down here, ripped off that massive part of the wave in two weeks, and then it was up here finishing off this wave. Now it's over here finishing. I think it's actually finished up the correction. You can see here's the wedge, and it's over here. Where it's going to bottom of the wedge. And this is the area you start paying a Lido. If you're bullish on bullish on Lido, it'll make another move over there. And then looking at some of the other coins too, like uh, I was looking at AVAX earlier. And, you know, AVAX ripped off a wave and went in. And so it went from uh, 30th December to the 2nd of February. So basically one month. It was one month, wasn't it? Let me check that time. So it ripped off a wave in 34 days. And now AVAX has over, been over in this correction for 90 days. Okay. So the correction is three times as long as the wave. And here's this three-way move. And this is a three-way move. If, if AVAX stopped right here and it stops in this area, it's extremely bullish because this is like, like a flat, like A, uh, B, C, like a, a strange flat that it did, like this right here. Uh, what would it be? A, uh, let me see, A, B, C, a very odd looking flat. 
and that would be very bullish for AVAX. Um, but this now you have this leg. You have this leg or this leg, like right here. So did it go up and then make this whole big correction to go up over here again? Hard to say, guys. But the thing is, my point is this, is that you have a nice, uh, uh, you know, a nice clean wave right here, right? Three, four, five, and a nice clean second wave correction. And now you have this mess in here, which gets a little bit concerning. And then the monitor, is it going to be A, B, C there? Or does it have to do another one back down here? So, and then now you have potentially your one or your A, and then your three-way move all the way over here, and then it gets out over there. And you spend four months, you know, one month in a wave and four months in a correction, making it a trader's market, if you will. If you made all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.